Ayo. I apologize about that chat. As always, I have to deal with shit bit right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a double check on my audio. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just the nature of the game. You know, we grind and we, we move on. But, um, let's hop back into it, chatters. We were watching Watch Club, Empresses in the Palace, specifically episodes 40 through 44. And we are back on... <clears throat> um, we were oh yes we were episode forty three and we were dealing with um oh yes the tear in concub or consort Wan's um dress and how she was trying to go ahead and find a quick replacement at the last moment um and also how coincidentally um one the empress and her like peoples had sent a robe over to be repaired the same robe that she has to use as a backup now and also coincidentally we see that when it's time for the auspicious hour and concubine Juan is supposed to be there to greet her um she's getting one of her migraines and she needs to sit um this out and so the emperor is fine he's like you can join us whenever you're ready don't worry about it and he goes out to um, greet consort, um, consort, excuse me, Juan. And so the next scene, for some reason, the emperor is like starstruck. He's like, what's going on? Like he kinda is like, why aren't you calling me by my nickname? I'm like looking at the review now. And like he goes, it's slow motion, and he like walks to the curtain behind her, and they stop just short of opening it. She's smiling on one end, super super happy. He's smiling on another end, calling her by her um, nickname, and he says something that kind of strikes her strikes her as odd. And he's like, "You finally come back, right?" And she's like, "What?" And she's like. So she opens the curtain, or gets ready to open the curtain, excuse me. He grabs her hand, he's like, oh, like so in love. And she says her name. She says, Den Juan bows before the emperor in respect, right? And he finally opens the curtain. And the sheer look on his face, he's like, why is it you? He's so disappointed and so angry right now and i don't know why i i genuinely don't know why at first and she doesn't either and uh, before she could say anything she immediately kneels down and is like you know I'm, i bow in respect and he's like where did you get those robes and he's like how dare you what's wrong with you and immediately all of a sudden the empress who is just dealing with our migraine comes out and is like, how could this happen? Oh, and everyone's like, what's going on? What's happening? Even I'm like, what the fuck? And immediately, um, as they're explaining it, um, apparently several days ago when the Empress was sorting out the previous Empress is closed, Empress Premier or Empress Chen Yun, um, exact, to be exact, um, when he was starting out her clothes, two of the pearls came off of the actual robe, and so she sent it to be repaired. And so, unfortunately, while it was sent to the household department, it never really made it back to... I guess it never really made it back to because yes it was sent to the household department to be repaired it never made it back to its original like clothes casing where the maid was supposed to come pick it up and unfortunately this is a big no-no wearing the clothes of the previous empress especially one so much as beloved as empress chun yun is a huge slap in the face to the emperor and to the current Empress. Oh, chat, when I say my heart broke, because like I said, I, I knew it. I knew it. I just fucking knew it, chat. This is clearly, th 
this is clearly a setup from the Empress. And the Emperor, the only thing he could say was this is the first thing she wore when she first met me. You know, how dare you? You know, he's like, I will never forget it. And he's, and she's, he's, and he orders her to take it off, which is, you know, it's so rude to have her disrobe in front of everybody like that, especially other women. And immediately the, the, excuse me, immediately the emperor, you know, oh, sorry, chat. This is, this is throwing me for a loop because I'm like, oh yeah, this happened and this, this fucked me up because I was so pissed. I was like, damn, she couldn't even get, cause she couldn't get promoted after this. And I was like, bro, she just, she just got out of the fucking frying pan only to land back in it, you know? And so the emperor, his dumbass, I guess, is unable to really see the situation for what it is. Like I said, he forces her to disrobe in front of everybody. And so the empress, her ass, you know, trying to, seem like the benevolent woman that she is is trying to defend concert one and he was like or, or she's like she, you know concubine one's always been you know careful she would never do something so disrespectful to you please understand and concubine one's even explaining to him to his face the rope was torn i never intended to do this i had no other choice please beg for forgiveness and the empress is still butting in Still saying, you know, she would never do that, your majesty. Forgive her. Consort one isn't this type of woman. And finally, the emperor speaks and is like, Consort one? Consort one? <laughs> Who's consort one? Although we had this, you know, this ceremony. She clearly isn't someone who deserves it. And therefore, the actual ceremony isn't complete. The conferral of her title isn't complete. And so she's like, or excuse me, he's like, at this point, go back to your palace and stay there. And I, like the look on her face, that broke me, bro. Cause I was like, I knew it. The second I saw that torn robe, I knew something bad was gonna happen, right? And my guess, my prediction is, is that because the Empress and Nobility Chi couldn't bring Concubine Wan down, via her father and those book of poems, they went this alternate route almost um, of setting up this huge ass plan of slashing her robes and then forcing her into, you know, this, the only robe available at the time, which ended up cementing this painful encounter. This ended up, ended up, this ended up setting her up for one of the biggest slaps in the face, unfortunately, right? And unfortunately, the emperor didn't even think twice. Like he, like, and this is why I say this nigga pussy. Like this, he, he just ass. You didn't even listen to her explanation as to why she had the robe on, right? It was just, I don't care. And he stopped the conferral ceremony. He confined her in her palace and ended up locking her gates without allowing anyone in or out. And unfortunately, this is the Empress's move. Ultimately, finally, <laughs> all the Illies apparently. <laughs> um, you know, the Empress was able to bring down Concubine Wan. And not as sloppy and arrogant as Imperial Nova Consort Dunsu, but just as cutthroat all the same. Um, she, Concubine An, and Noble Lady Chi have meticulously planned everything out and we're about to execute another plan to finish off Concubine Wan, but I guess because she was locked behind the palace doors, they realized they would be unable to get to her. The thing that really bugged me too was yeah, I'm pissed at the Emperor, but I'm even more pissed at Concubine Wan because I thought she was a little smarter than this. I thought she was a little bit more prepared, especially after having had dealt with a huge loss like miscarriage at the hands of Imperial Noble Consort Dunsu, right? But she is just in her room crying, realizing that, you know, she was only just a substitute for Empress Primary because she looked like her. 
and I was just sitting there like, is that the problem, girl? Is that what... Is that what you care about? Is the simple fact that... Because, yes, we knew that they truly loved each other, but at the same time, like you told... Like like you told um, Imperial Consort um, Duntu when she died, or Imperial Noble Consort Duntu when she died, you knew that your love and the favor and all the time that you were getting from him had to be split and divided amongst other women and that you would never fully hold his heart so why in assuming or not in assuming why assume you know that i don't know chat i lost my train of thought there <laughs> i was like wait where am i going with this <laughs> i'm because so, i'm so caught off guard from this like this really fucked me up chat anyways um, yeah, I was just like, yeah, my love, I don't understand why you didn't take your own vice, your own advice. Why didn't you, you know, practice what you preach and understanding that you would never fully be able to be the Empress true love, you know? But I digress because like most women, you know, it's kind of hard to see, it's kind of hard to see, um, people for who they are and especially your 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 man or your partner or the person you choose to love it's kind of hard to see who they really are when you're in the thick of loving them when you're in the deep end and on the receiving end of that love it is hard to see them for their their bad qualities you know and though it's not technically a rank update it is somewhat an update i guess um, cause she, like we said, she was never officially promoted as a consort, even though, you know, people kind of geared up and were like calling her that and whatnot. She's still a concubine. However, this is the end of that episode. And with a deep, heavy side chat, my final thoughts, <laughs> the Empress, um, has finally set her sights on concubine Juan and has made her move. Um, she, Noble Lady On, or excuse me, Concubine On, because I keep calling her Noble Lady On, but it's Concubine On, and I can actually, let me change that in my, um, my script. We have to have continuity in here now, because I ain't finna just sit up here, be calling anybody, <laughs> calling them by any title now, especially if they get demoted, oh no. But yes, also continuity too, because that's important. Especially like because like my big dream is to like direct and produce and write and stuff. I don't want my shit looking dumb. I don't want I don't want my actors, actresses, and like the people performing my performing my scripts to sound like idiots because I didn't have or didn't catch a continuity error. <laughs> Anyways, concubine on and noble lady Chi and the Empress are now sitting back planning again on how to completely wrench concubine Juan free of favor from the emperor so she has no chance to come back um again for like the third or fourth time we see the official longkodo has now become a source of contention between the emperor and the emperor excuse me the emperor and the empress dowager so i i hope we get to figure out what that's about i've made several predictions on that but i'm not entirely sure what's happening with that but I'm, I'm sure we'll find out. Ooh, my stomach is killing me. That being said, chat, we are now on the um on the last episode. We're gonna take a quick, quick break. I'm gonna use the restroom. I'm going to check my socials. Um, I'll be right back. You get some drinks, get some food in you, and I'll see you in a few moments.